I'm Riley Green, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. What's going on, guys? Celeb Secrets is hanging out backstage here at the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix, and we have Riley Green backstage with us. What's going on? I don't know. How are you? I'm good. I mean, this is a crazy day today. It doesn't feel like Nashville. I know. I know. It's very cool. Yeah, because it's like the first time that you guys are doing the Indy car race down here in Tennessee. Yeah, uh, just... Indy cars run through downtown Nashville. It's yeah, wild. Yeah. Are you like a are you a fan of racing? Yeah, I grew up really close to Talladega in Alabama and always went to the race. So big NASCAR fan growing up. And I don't know how you couldn't like this. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. And you're performing later, so this is gonna be like a full circle moment for you type here. Yeah. They uh they let me ride in a pace car today. No. Uh, get to play some songs on the Opry stage. So it's it's a pretty cool day. Wait, wait. So tell me, how was that getting in the car and like racing in the car? Well, I rode in the back seat. And okay. They kind of threw me around a little bit. I'm a little long to be kind of crammed up in the back of a Camaro, but it was cool. Uh, they, you know, I think they got up to about 100 going across the bridge, so yeah, it was fun. I'm really jealous. Yeah, well, I mean, you'd have fit better in the back seat. So. <laughs> now let's talk about your performance. What are you singing today? Uh, you know? Well, it's whatever we feel like. I mean, we're playing with the Opry Band, which is always great because those guys are so talented. We'll go over a couple of songs before we start and uh, probably play uh, maybe there was this girl. The first number one, I wish Grandpa's Never Died. Maybe a new song. Okay. So we'll try some stuff tonight. I like that. And I know you've been back on the road recently because I actually saw you in Chicago over at Whitney City. Yeah. Um, so what's that like, you know, going back into it and playing these shows? I was a little uh, worried how easily I fell back into the routine of having nothing to do. I mean, it was a great break, had a year off, but I think everybody was ready for country music to start back up, especially touring artists. You know, we had a year off, and uh, it's been great to see things kind of gradually get back to some kind of normal again. And what did you do during your time at home? Did you maybe like work on new music? Did you take up any new hobbies? I would, I, yeah, I would love to say something really, uh, 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 nothing. No? I, I relaxed. I did a lot of hunting. It was a really good hunting season for me. Okay. Uh, just spent a lot of time at home with the family. It's nice to have a little break. Yeah, and I feel like you don't have that being a country artist, constantly touring and on the road and things like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not complaining. The fans are showing up. All the stuff we've done this year has been great. People are so ready to get out. Yeah. Now, is there maybe something that you've learned about yourself personally that you're applying to this new music that you might be working on? I, I, I think the, the, what I've kind of learned over the years is that something that I'm doing, people are relating to. You know, growing up in Alabama and the small town I grew up in, I write songs kind of about what I learned there, and I don't really want to, you know, veer too far from that. It's worked for me, and people seem to be kind of gravitating towards the new music, so I'm going to keep writing songs about things I know. Okay, awesome. Now, what's coming up with this new music? Tell me. Well, we just put out a project called Behind the Bar, and uh, you know we're mixing those new songs into the set, kind of seeing what songs stand out, which one fans are really singing the loudest, and uh, you know constantly writing and trying to come up with new songs, and just you know while they want to listen, give them something to listen to. Totally, totally. Now, is there maybe like a goal or something that you really want to conquer, maybe this year or next year? I don't know that I had any goals, you know, and I, it's, it's been a great last couple of years, you know, from signing a record deal to having songs on the radio and playing the Grand Ole Opry, just, you know, uh, ACM, it's, uh, you know, I never would have dreamed about any of that, so for me, it's just, it's nice not to have a real job. Totally, totally. Now, you know, we are celeb secrets. Do you maybe have any, like, secret pre-show rituals, maybe that you're even going to be doing today, that we wouldn't know before we see you on stage? Well, I tell you, it's hot. Yeah. We've been out here all day. Yeah, I'm sweating, yeah. This is probably not a secret, but I'm probably going to have a drink before I go on stage today. Okay. I think that's what's that's what's in, in the future for me. All right. I feel like every artist every artist does that. But what, what's your drink of choice, though? Uh, <laughs> at this point, I don't think I'd be too picky. The only thing I don't drink is Fireball. Okay. To anybody out there, think about buying me something, not Fireball. All right. Awesome. Riley, well, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Good luck on stage later.